Mark Wiens here. I am in Korat, Thailand, and I am at a really popular restaurant called Panamjin Kuyak. It is a huge restaurant. You can see like it actually looks like it was once just a house, but it looks like they just kept expanding and expanding and expanding. That has just grown into epic proportions. So this place is huge and they are really famous for serving a dish called Kanamjin, which are the slightly fermented fresh rice noodles and they come with curry but i've also ordered a few extra dishes can't wait to eat okay, so this is one of the types of kanamjin called kanamjin namya which is a coconut milk based gravy should be some fish in there as well those are the rice noodles there. And this one here is just genkai, which is just chicken curry. And that is a big lump of blood gelatinous jelly. One of the things that's really awesome about eating kanomjin is that it's always served with a, an entire garden's worth of vegetables, raw vegetables on the side. And you can either put the vegetables directly on top of your kanomjin, or you can just eat kanomjin and then sort of garnish your mouth every few bites with some of the vegetables. I think this is lemon basil by Mengrakmayin should be lemon basil, cabbage, bean sprouts, long beans, maybe pakbung or, um, or morning glory. And then this is shaved up um, huapli, which is uh, uh, banana flour. We not only ordered kanomjin, but we also got a couple of extra protein sides. So this place is very well known for their gaitad, um, just fried chicken wings. And they are like smoldering hot right out of the oil. And also I got a bapao, which is a roasted roasted fish, salt crusted. I have made a recipe for this bapao. So if you want to click right here, um, you can check out the recipe of how you can make this bapao at home. It's an awesome, awesome Thai way to grill a fish. I'm gonna go straight in for the nam ya. Mm. Oh. oh, that's, that's delightful. There's a real flavor in there that, that I can really taste. There's a certain flavor, but I'm not even sure what that is. It's like a little bit bitter, but like salty and sweet at the same time. This is a common type of kanamjin, but I normally have the southern Thai style, which is a little bit different, which uses more turmeric and more thicker coconut milk. So this is a little bit different style, so I'm not sure exactly what that distinct taste is, but it's awesome. I just had Ying taste it, and she told me that it is krachai, and that, yeah, that is exactly what it is. She is good. It's similar to ginger, but at the same time, it's not quite as pungent as ginger, I think. Um, yet it maybe has a little, it has the same kind of earthy flavor to it. Earthy root, slightly spicy root flavor to it. That banana flower and a little bit of the lemon basil to top it off. All oh, beautiful. I'm gonna go for that chili this bite too. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Grab one of these guys. Mm. That's just lightly salted and then fried fresh and crisp. That's just a good solid chicken wing. I think it would be even better if I dipped it quickly in the in the curry sauce. Oh yeah, that's good. Put on some veg. More of like a sweet and salty creamy curry and it tastes a little bit like Genkewan, which is the green curry, Thai green curry, but only it's like pink in color instead. That's good as well, but I really like the Nam Ya better. I'm just gonna get a 
piece of fish, add some sauce. I'm eating him right off, right off the, the bone. Mm. Mm. I just love fish cooked this way, pop how just always amazing. As long as it's not overcooked, which this one is not, um, it's just fantastic. Just a meaty, flaky, oily fish. The sauce is not the best I've had. It is sour, but not very spicy. But the fish is excellent. These are saibua, which is um, the lotus, lotus stems. So you can almost use it like a straw. Oh, a bunch of water just came out of that, but. I usually have this in a curry, um, a coconut milk curry, but by itself right now, it actually has zero flavor. Yeah, it has zero flavor. It's like eating, it's kind of like celery actually. It has that crispness, but really basically no flavor to it. Grab some of this papao and I'm gonna put it right into my curry. Mm. That is awesome. Great kanam ji, and I especially love the nam ya version with that krachai. As, as I am sitting here, just like busloads of people are showing up for, for lunch here. So this place is, yeah, like I said, this place is a, it's an institution in Korat. I guess they're famous for a reason, the food is fantastic. This is a, such an awesome herb. It tastes like you're eating like dish soap, but good, awesome, fresh dish soap. That's probably not the best description I've ever made, but just kind of think of it as dish soap that's awesome. I love all this mixture of, oh, I had to burp real fast. Oh, oh, that was a delicious burp. Anyway, that, that flavor, that earthy tone of grachai. Oh, we just spit. Hey, it's Mark Weens here. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Click on one of the thumbnails to keep watching more videos. And if you're not already subscribed, you gotta get subscribed right now so you don't miss more delicious food and travel videos. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.